have a nice day, everyone. We just finished the aircraft physical inspection. Now we will go to the documentation of the aircraft, the technical records. We will go to the aircraft certificates. You will check the aircraft certificates. This is the first one, aircraft type certificate. Okay, this certificate contains the information about the design of the manufacturer for this type of aircraft. Okay, I will show you in the Wikipedia here the type certificate aircraft type certificate this is just example here here type design okay manufacturing so each designer or each manufacturer like Boeing Airbus so and so this includes in these certificates the design of it. The other certificates. Certificate of Airworthiness. This certificate is to permit for commercial passenger or cargo operation issued for an aircraft by National Aviation Authority. Okay. I will show you, for example, this is awareness certificate. This is the awareness certificate. Okay, you can go and read in this. The others, export certificate of awareness. Take care here from the word the word export export means if the aircraft go from country to other country so you will need this certificate don't forget that okay but in the same country don't need this certificate so if required the current aircraft registration I will speak more details about registration for the beginners, okay? I will show you, this is in the ECAO Annex 7 for details if you want to go for details, okay? I will show you. This is the list of aircraft registration about the world here. Here, this is the country or region sorting by alphabet. A, 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 then go to B after that. The prefix letters may be one letter, capital letter or maybe two, or maybe a digit number. For example, for the United States of America, one letter only, capital N. For my country, Egypt, two letters, capital letters, SU. Okay, how to register here? What about the letters here? I will show you in my country about the airlines in our country. This is one airline called Al Masriya Universal 
her line okay the issue these two prefixes two letters here means or identify for the country Egypt then dash the other two letters here TC signify the airline so the two letters for the airline the third one here this is for the aircraft so this is the first aircraft this is the second this is third other airline in Egypt also fly Egypt also SU this is the country TM for the airline G for the first aircraft then IH okay other airline this is AMC SU this is Egypt GB for the airline H for the first aircraft other one this is Nile Air okay SU Egypt BQ this is the airline here this is the first aircraft register then the second the same okay we go to Lotus Air now not exist now but with the greatest airline in Egypt but sorry now not exist SU this is Egypt LB means Lotus Air B for the first aircraft maybe A B C okay B okay so this is short notes about how to register your aircraft in your country the national local nationality okay this is the current aircraft registration the first this the other certificates air operator certificate take care air operator here airline not aircraft operator okay this certificate must be renewed every year i will show you this is the aircraft air operators certificates approval generator for the civil local civil aviation okay i will show you this is the air operator certificate here the civil aviation the country the airline the number of the certificates the capability of the operator and this is the issue date expiration date this is stamp and the register signature of the responsible man in the local civil aviation okay other certificate noise certificates maybe on the aircraft flight manual noise certification okay this is determine the decibel how many decibel for this aircraft including aircraft and engines okay if you want details go to the ECAO annex 16 you will go to many details here I will show you this is the federal registration about the noise certificates here okay other certificate radio station license take care here from radio station you must take care from the frequencies and take from the Ministry of Communications for that about the station your aircraft or your airline go to I will show you here about the advisory circular 
explain that. This is the advisory circular, FAA. This is the number. Explain how about the frequencies of the radio stations. Okay. Other special flight permission. This is if required special flight permit, commonly referred to as ferry permit. Ferry means no passengers here, non revenue may be issued to any US here, United States here. That may currently meet applicable or awareness requirement. So in your country, the, your civil aviation, your local civil aviation can give you special flight permits. The other certificate, aircraft flight manual, weight limitation. We spoke about the weights before, that many weights here, maximum gross weight, maximum taxi weight, maximum landing weight, operator, zero fuel weight, so and so. The other limitations, operating limitations, like uh, speed limitation, okay? Okay, so this is for the pilots and the co-pilots. This is the crew. Okay, I will show you this manual. Aircraft flight manual here. This is for the crew, pilot or captain and co-pilot for operation. There is another manual, operation flight manual. Okay. The other certificate of sanitary. This is for health care. This is if applicable. If your country recommends this uh, certificate, so you must take care of it. I will show you the as example, this is the aviation sanitation for the health care. This is needs inspections for the galleries and the laboratories. Okay. Other certificates. Aircraft deregistration. This certificate. You will need it if you change the aircraft from the one operator to other operator. Okay. This is if you will change. The last one, the burn certificate. The burn certificate. All the materials in the aircraft, interior or exterior, must not flammable. Okay. I will show you. This is also a vital circular, and this is the number. Explain what is the test of the per certificates. It includes. many items such as seat cushions, the risk covers, carpets, curtains, and interior surfaces if refurbished. If you change the interior, the cargo liner and tape, including in combination burn certificates. Okay, so this is the certificates for the aircraft only, not the engine or not APU, not landing gear. This is just for the aircraft, airframe. Thank you very much. I am waiting your 
comments and your suggestions. Thank you very much again and goodbye.